my sweet sweet friends and welcome back to my channel today in this video I am doing the most exciting video probably one of the most exciting videos I've ever done if you are new to my channel hello I'm Marissa Lace I create content all around self-love and spirituality and just overall wellness tapping into your inner goddess to create your dream life and in today's video I am doing my nursery tour I am so excited my sweet little baby girl it is finally almost done and I say almost done because I don't think rooms are ever done and if I just kept waiting until I felt like it was absolutely perfect I would have just never get this video out so with things that still need final touches we are just going to get right to it and I will not bore you anymore with this intro and we will get to the good stuff so the first thing when you walk in is of course a piece of selenite to cleanse everyone's energy before coming into baby lace's room <gasps> I am so excited. So this is a little overview of Baby Lace's room. This is not permanently living here, but it reminds us not to walk into here, which is this beautiful little shelf that has a lavender rose quartz, which is really good for your third eye and crown chakra, as well as your heart chakra. Um, and this beautiful, beautiful gift from my friends over at Lux B Pompous. So, so cute. I actually got this beautiful little shelf from uh, Ross super cute and then we have this bookshelf which it was super funny when people were telling me about oh good luck like baby proofing when you know all of that happens but we tried to do a lot of things higher up so she couldn't even reach them and then something like that those will actually just be like we can use little velcro things to get those down or hold those down if that makes sense we have her mind body baby meditation crystals and chakra book as well as the abcs of kindness I got these sweet little bookends from Target and um, she has a couple more baby books coming. A few of mine that were my favorite from when I was a baby. Um, this read diffuser will not be in here when she's here, but my pregnancy knows. I swear I still think the room smells like paint. It does not smell like paint. It is just my pregnancy nose. So this is mainly for me. Um, this is a sweet little unicorn. One of our dogs, one of four, Molly, loves unicorns. And so it was a sweet little just thing in here very high up we have a huge rose quartz tower which is all about the heart chakra love energy gratitude joy and then we have a selenite pyramid again to just cleanse the energy keep it very positive and neutral as well we have a fake plant if you guys don't know um in feng shui having live plants in the bedroom let alone for a baby when their energy is so sensitive certain plants certain uh, crystals and things like that are just too active have too much life energy in them so we kept the crystals uh, very a neutral just calming energy as well as keeping the plant fake uh, this beautiful pink vase is from a target we have this beautiful mobile up here as well as a little rainbow catcher um over here again instead of having real plants i just did some pompous as well as some dried flowers and just adding some texture to the room and i just think it adds a really just cozy little touch that i really love this little side table this like kind of shell look this is a Himalayan salt lamp, which actually I chose this just to keep the light super warm and dim and nothing too harsh for baby lace. This is a still bite crystal, which is a very soft, loving, gentle gratitude energy. We have pink amethyst, which is kind of a softer uh, energy than a purple amethyst. So it's more connected to your heart chakra and again, just a warmer, more gentle energy of gratitude and love a huge piece of selenite and then we have this little thingy that just will hold her little pacifiers we have the big mirror and this mirror actually was at the house that we stayed at during our baby moon so very special there very cute i love the mirror it's just from target and i think it is so freaking cute uh right now i have this stool over here and i've actually had this stool for so many years um, and I've never really used it for anything, but I brought the stool in here to use for my feet for 
the rocking chair, which we'll get our way over there. And of course, I have to mention the rug. Nobody talks about this. I haven't seen anyone talk about this. Um, my like pregnancy insomnia has led to a lot of expensive purchases at three to six in the morning. This is a rug from Anthropology. It was $900. And I hate to admit that I love it. I hate to admit it. Um, I have this little rug. This is from Rugs USA, I believe. And our nursery set, so the crib, the dresser, and then the changing topper thing is from Simply Nursery. And this is the set we got. So it all came as a set. We went with the Newton Baby mattress. Um, and then this is a beautiful little arch that my husband just painted on the wall. We have this pretty little hang thing. And then we have this crib skirt from Serena and Lily. I thought it again just added really nice texture and kind of hid anything down there. The reason the room took <laughs> so long to do our nursery tour was finding a rocking chair that I loved. And I could not find a rocking chair that was not just like disgustingly expensive. And this chair is still disgustingly expensive. It was like five or six hundred dollars, I think. Um, and I have never heard anyone talk about how expensive rocking chairs are. And I know that there's like cheaper ones, but I'm not gonna lie, I think they're all ugly. I think they all look the same. I want something a little different as well that had the, you know, green certificate or whatever it's called, as well as being easy to clean. And surprisingly, it's easy to clean. Um, and I wanted something that could like be in our home after, like even if we're not using it as a rocking chair, and that was very hard to find. So. I love this one. My husband is like 6'2", and it's comfortable for him. I love that it goes far back. I love that it's almost three feet wide, so it's very comfortable. My dog Haley sits in it when I sit in it, um, and it's very cozy. We also, the other reason the nursery tour took so long, is getting curtains. So I will link these curtains down below because I am so freaking impressed by them and how well they work. I have never in my life bought in or used or needed blackout curtains so I had no idea what to look for um, but I think these are so cute and just so soft and cozy and I can't wait for her to experience them um, over here we have a little side table so this is again one of the things that's like not done but oh, let me sit down oh my god what we have on here is my Frida baby humidifier and it's also a night light and then I think it's also like an oil diffuser I don't really see myself like diffusing oils out of it um another large large piece of selenite and then this crystal is actually this crystal is actually celestine which is very angelic and just dreamy calming energy and is very good for dreams very good for sleep very good for babies so underneath here this is something that will be changing but we have a basket coming that is going to have all of my mommy snacks so a little snack station for me as well as we have a little mini cart coming here that I'm gonna have some of my breastfeeding essentials right here but that'll be for another video next we have this beautiful little wall set up this was just a duo from TJ Maxx I believe and this photo actually reminds me of our baby moon in Joshua Tree this little flower wooden mirror this sweet little beaded art piece and then this I actually got in Ojai years ago and I really love the texture of it right now I have some newborn diapers out right now uh, the Pampers pure wipes as well as the water wipes um, this seagrass basket I just just got off of Amazon I believe and then this is one of the baby toys that I saw off of Amazon and I did a haul for you guys also um, so again one of the other things that is being completed and finished the whole drawer set up her clothes are still not organized the dresser is still not solidified so we have size one diapers newborn diapers the wipes upside down we have all of her little baby butt necessities so her little baby butt necessities are still being figured out. Everyone let me know down below. What are your like 
changing necessities as well as you know we got her bottles so this whole situation is still getting organized I think that what I'm gonna do is in this little section in this little basket I'm going to put her kind of go to like onesies and zip ups and things like that these are actually little diaper bags to put your little poopy bags in um, moving us on to our little diaper pail so I'm still figuring out if I want to leave this out or put it in the closet one of the closets is clothing one of the closets is just like other stuff and then this is kind of just like a layout mat that I have in the corner right here but we have some of this stuff out I feel like I need some guidance and help what do we put up here I feel like when I watch other people's nursery tours and things like their changing station looks more busy they have more things happening and going on so report back. Um, also, I saw someone's hack and somebody let me know to put like a little puppy pad down, like a little pee pad when you're changing your baby. And I thought that was genius. So we will have some of those to put over here for changing her. But anywho, these two drawers are empty besides the little organizers. We have this little just throw for in winter. It does get very cold up here. We have her diaper pail. We have my mini, what is this, fawn design diaper bag. And then like I said, in here is more of her, so this is her older clothing. We have toy, this is filled with toys. The small <laughs> one pair of shoes that we bought as well as my friend sent us these freshly picked little baby moccasins. We have tons of baby hangers, more baby things like more butt paste, changing pads, um, the like, gas relief drops, more just things like that. We have one of those changing pads and again, more diapers, more wipes. And then in this closet, we have <laughs> a portal. We have my big diaper bag. We have his baby carrier, my baby carrier. Um, we have a baby blanket for her stroller. We have another baby blanket and then a little kind of like play mat. Honestly, my husband really liked it. And anytime he shows excitement over anything, I'll buy it. Fuck yeah, show excitement. I love you, you're amazing. But, and then, let's hear, oh, we have, what are those? That is more refills for the diaper pail. Those are storage compression bags, which we're actually using to organize her older clothes, which I'll show you guys in a moment. That's a heater. That is her swing. And then what do we have down here? Oh, move this. That's her snuggle me. That's more swaddles. That's more water wipes. So those are my feet. Not even going to make you pay extra for that. So this is her nursery and everything is definitely still finding a home, finding its place. I know I talked about that in a recent video that I will be doing a separate video for like pure organization things. Oh, pregnancy indigestion. Ugh a solidified home and getting organized that way but I wanted to give you guys the general feel the general vibe very excited oh also let's show you how real it is these are actually all her clothes and her bassinet but the wicker bassinet is going to be going out into the living room um, and those are all of her clothes all of her clothes three two or sorry newborn to six months they are all washed they're all done um and the clothes that are so we're going to take newborn and zero to three and like fold those hang some of those um and then the three to six and did we wash six to nine pregnancy brain is the realest thing ever anywho the clothes that aren't going to be worn right away we're putting in those storage bags and vacuuming them that way they don't get dust and stuff all over them we don't have to rewash them um but yes we're still figuring that out <sighs> it's all a journey i feel like it's all you know figuring out your own systems so this is Baby Lace's Nursery. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so, so much. Make sure to let me know down below any first time mom hacks, thoughts, tips. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I am sending you so, so much love.